Tyler Faldet. Not your typical deer hunting video. We are doing a trapping video. And this is gonna be, this is just gonna be classic. I've been waiting to do this for like six days since I found this spot. And last year I started trapping coyotes, red fox, uh, bobcat, otter, mink, pretty much. I've been, I've had a decent amount of success in the last year. Now this is year two. Just never been able to get into beavers. And it's just awesome watching these guys trap beavers. It's just, they're big animals. They cause a lot of damage. Uh, you can set traps and usually know what's going on. I mean, you can trap them fairly easily if you know what you're doing. I'm just a rookie, but I've been watching a lot of videos and I think I got the tools I need to make this successful. So we're heading to that spot and uh, there are, a, it's just loaded from the looks of it, thick brush. It's gonna be fun. So I'm pulling in here shortly and I'll show you kind of the damage they're doing. And uh, I've got some footholds and some conibears. It's a lot, of, a lot of stuff to drag back, but we'll see if we can't get on some beavers here in a minute. And we'll be checking tomorrow and I'll show you what I, what I catch, if I catch anything. I'm thinking it's gonna happen here. So let's see what happens. Here's some, there's a big oak tree chopped down fairly recently. They're working on this other oak tree right there. Down. Freaking two minutes into the beaver trap and I already <laughs> broke through. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well. This is part of the dam over here. They have a dam up. Made it to the dam. Where I fell through was kind of a side secondary dam. It's pretty awesome. Pulling back a lot of water coming on through under the sticks. And it's kind of wing channeled out and that's where I fell through. But there's a run up there and there's another run right here. I'm gonna set a foothold on a slider drowning system. So right there, there's a perfect little spot to put a trap. And then it's deep water out here. Where if they get trapped, they'll swim down. The way this is designed, they can come down, but they won't be able to come back up, so they'll drown. Guide stick. Cool. Call that good for set number one. I'm probably doing something wrong, but I don't know. We will see what happens. 
first time ever beaver trapping. There's deeper water down there. Probably be easiest to drown them down in that hole versus through these sticks. So that's what we will do. Yeah, now what? Oh, river bed. Okay, drawing a rod, deep water, trap. I am an absolute rookie at this, so I had a hard time getting that stake in, but what I learned is if you kind of just twist it, it goes down in between the rocks. It's a little bit deep, but I don't know what deep is actually. Decently deep. I don't know. It's anchored in under a rock out there, so I don't think it's coming up. It's not coming out of here. Uh, let's go set a 330 over there and should be good. All right, good morning, guys. We're back bright and early. Let's go check these four beaver traps. Just remember, I'm a rookie. Never done this, never trapped beaver before. We're on the hot sign and uh, I'm gonna try to not fall through the ice like yesterday. That was pretty freaking funny. <laughs> Looking back at the moment, not really, but after I got all my stuff that fell under the ice, it was, wasn't too bad. But walking in to check the old beaver traps and see what we got. Well, set number one, no beaver. Set number two, no beaver. Trap is gone. Trap is freaking gone, that's a good sign. Here we go, boys. Let's see what we got. We got something. We got a beaver. Holy shit. Holy moly, we got a beaver, boys. Oh my gosh, how cool. Not a very big one. That is crazy. It worked. This is the first trap I set yesterday. Oh yeah. Yes, woo. Freaking pay dirt. Let's go check out the second. Second one. My rod is here. Trap is gone. Let's see what we got in this one. Oh. Um, I think we got something. Feels heavier. Holy cow! There's a hog! Oh my god! This thing is freaking massive! Oh my goodness! It's like four times the size of the first one! Big! That is huge! We're gonna weigh it, but oh my gosh! That is incredible! 
Guys, this is a freaking... Look at that thing! Going up that trail! This is awesome. This is as good of a check as I could have hoped. 50%, two out of four, both in these crossovers on the dam. Resetting it so we can do it again tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Set it in the run. They come by and step on it. Ah! Get that one compared to this one. This is insane. I just don't even know how I'm gonna get him out of here. Oh, dying. So I need a toe strap for the sun gun. Oh my god. I think there's a beluga whale. Look at that freaking nature. Filling up the tailgate, boys. Whew. We'll get them weighed and be back for some more action tomorrow. It's uh, the day after going in to check these beaver traps. Yesterday we caught a 62, 63 pound beaver, a 22 pound beaver. And I didn't show it on video, but I actually got a, an otter on something I checked in the afternoon. So pretty good day yesterday, and we'll see what we can uh, pull out of the river today. I don't see the trap. The trap is gone, which is a good sign. Good freaking sign. Okay, just like yesterday, trap is gone. Here we freaking go. I think there's something on there. Definitely got something again. I see a beaver. And <laughs> looks like a okay size one. Oh, it's another pretty big one. Yep. Another nice beaver. Oh. I don't know if it's quite as big as yesterday's. No. But it's still good size. Okay. Well, today is Thursday. I'm going to wait to set this till Friday. I'll come back and set them so I can check with people on Saturday. Cool. Nice beaver. Guests, welcome. Well, welcome. Okay, six traps. There's only two deadly ones, but we'll check them. So I got one right there. Because they were coming on the bank, there's nothing in it though. Okay. Right here. Yeah. There's a conibear bear kind of, there's some deep water. You can't see him, but I gotta go down there. There's a conibear bear down see under that there. log. Yep. I see that, see that. Yeah. And then there's another one down farther that I don't see. Maybe. And then there's another conibear bear down there, but my two, I got a foothold on the other side of that tree. There's a foot down, hold down here. So let's go look at this one first. Nothing there. We gotta go. This was all just white, one run. I almost wonder now that the snow is gone, they're just climbing over. But there's there's one more conibear down there. 
Oh boy. We, hey. We got one. You got one? We got something. I need more to look. I don't know it's under that tree, that deadfall tree there. This is Joe's trap too. Is it? I should have called him. I think he's here. Look at that. Look at that. Dead. Done. There we go. Yeah. This is a kind of a small one, it looks like. This is a. Uh, this is like uh, the first, a little bit, it's not the <laughs> smallest one. I set that one like you saw on the internet. Like that guy sideways. Yeah. These traps are a lot easier to set. Or get these. Rolls? Yeah, the springs are like weaker. Oh. It's a 30 pounder? No. Huh? It's so. definitely sub 20, so it's probably right around 20. Well, I know I don't. They used to give a bounty, but I don't think they do anymore. This is this is. I don't know. We can weigh it. No, not thirty. Oh, Some big ones are fun. <laughs> Did you catch any big ones in a kind of bear? I haven't yet. Yeah. That's perfect. Safeties. That'd be a good place right there. <laughs> yeah, I could have two of them. Really easy. Look at that. Pretty nice. Both of these, you know. Actually, or even down there. Down there, all over. This now. is a perfect spot, though. Here you go. Redder, reddish, blackish one. Yep. Ain't bad. 